of our windows have arrived. Seems to be working out pretty well. Good morning guys, welcome back up to our property here in Southern Utah. Memorial Day weekend has ended, it was so much fun. We still have a mess to clean up. All of our windows have arrived and we're gonna go get them. I just have, I have a trailer on the back of my truck as you can see, I made like a glass rack to hold them all just out of a scrap two by sixes. Hopefully that'll support everything. So we are headed to Vegas right now, pick up all our windows and doors, grab them, bring them back up here and store them until we are ready and we will be back. But yeah, we're gonna take you guys with us. Probably gotta get a few things. I, I need to get a new air compressor. Just got done packing up all the windows and it is 91 degrees. I'm sweating. My wife is sweating. She is not in a good mood right now. <laughs> that is not why I'm not in a good mood though. Women, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> you men do not understand. Apparently not. Hopefully this glass rack I made is gonna be strong enough. I mean, I feel like it is. I got like 10 straps on this thing. Fingers crossed that we make it four hours. We're gonna be driving super slow. We bought two by fours. We, we did what we could. Yeah, we braced like each side of the, the windows on the ground and then stead them on his, or they're kind of angled back and then there's five straps on each one and all this stuff. And then there's little foam bumpers on them and everything like that. So barring buying an actual glass rack, that's probably the best we're gonna get. It's hot, I'm gonna turn the AC on and uh, we'll see you guys later. I'm not working and I get dressed up, I choose gentle bands for my outdoor adventurous personality. I chose gentle bands because of their unique styling and I also thought it was pretty cool that I could get a dinosaur bone inside my ring. For anyone out there looking for a wedding band or hoping for a unique Father's Day gift, this is for you. The gentle band ring that can fit anyone's personality. For me, I went with the Jurassic Collection, which had actual dinosaur bones in it. Or maybe you're more of a tree guy. Cosmos or Adventure, they have something for everyone. They have been exploring unconventional materials to forge a ring that truly expresses your unique style. From ancient meteorites and retired spacecraft titanium to dinosaur fossils and Hawaiian koa wood, they stop at nothing to create 
country a ring that is as individual as you are. They even throw in free engraving. All the rings come with certified craftsmanship. Use code OFFGRAY to get 25% off your Gentle Band ring. Thank you, Gentle Bands, for sponsoring this video. Now I'm gonna take my lady for a twirl. Good morning guys, welcome back up to our property here in Southern Utah. Oh, it's beautiful out today. It's a little cloud cover, so it's not gonna be as hot today when we go up to put floor sheathing on here. We just got back from getting these windows. This makeshift window rack that I made worked perfectly. We drove all the way to Vegas and back, no issues whatsoever. All made with our scrap lumber, but no cracks, no issues. The windows look perfect, so we're good to go on that. Some of you guys were asking why we don't have any windows in the, in the garage. We don't have anything framed in the garage, which we don't right now. We are gonna put some in the garage. We just don't know where yet, so we just framed it up and we can just cut it out later not a huge deal plus we got we're putting stairs over here we don't know exactly where they're gonna go yet i didn't want to put a window and then have to cover it back up later today we are going to be continuing the floor sheeting we have about half of it done right now i don't think we filmed any of it when my nephew was here the other day we did half of it and then the nail gun kept jamming up. I think my air compressor is going to crap. So while we were in town getting our windows, I got a new air compressor. So hopefully that will prove to be a good investment and work out really well for framing the rest of this house and our future builds. I'm gonna go up there. We got about half done. All the rest of the floor sheeting is up there and hopefully we can knock this out today. Let's go up there, get to work, see if we can knock this out. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset Digging deep since night Was gone, sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. Fell between the four. Hey, baby. Hey. I like your rooftop. It's not a rooftop, it's, a, it's an apartment floor. But That's same. true, true. <laughs> um, How's it going? Since all these joists were bought off Facebook Marketplace, then they were used, they have like all the glue from the previous build. So I have to like go and hammer everything off so everything sits nice and flush, but it's not too bad. Yeah. It looks good though. These things are for the deal that we got on these things. You can't yeah. And then you're putting a glue on as well, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're just putting this Advantech subfloor adhesive down. This is what the lumber company gave us, so this is what we're using. And it's supposed to have one of these cans is equal eight of like the normal can, so you don't use as much. Like I only have four of these, and I've only used, this is my third one, and I only have a couple more rows left. I have one left. Seems to be working out pretty well. Anti-squeak, it says. Squeak free. Guarantee. <laughs> Guarantee. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That would be wonderful, right? Then Ricky can dance around the living room all she wants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very true. Do you want some help with that bad boy? Scary to you at all uh, anymore? It's scary. I can't walk on it. No, you won't walk on it. No. I'm proud of you. You're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Larry. 
Harry came up and he brought a beheaded rattlesnake. Of course, he's like the jokester of everyone. And we, we gave it to the chickens. We'll see how they feel about it. But those rattlesnakes, they scare the crap out of me and they're everywhere up here. The poor little rattlesnake was accidentally run over in the road and he wasn't savable. <laughs> we tried to save him. We tried to give him mouth to mouth. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not even try. Come on, chickens. You can do it. Put him away. What are we gonna do? Go Mommy, get him. Can you hold my tools for one second? The have not ate it and they are not interested at all. Well, that was enough shenanigans for the the moment. The morning. The morning, freaking Larry's. You got a rattlesnake down here right next to the front door of our RV. So I go over there and like run down the freaking ladder and get over there and there's just a dead rattlesnake. Jokester. Got me. Got me, buddy. Anyway, we threw it to the chickens. They're just kind of. Not, yeah, they're, like they're not very, interested. they're interested, but not like bold enough to get to it yet. Once one of them does, I feel like it'll be gone. I'm gonna get back up there. Whew. Keep laying sheets of subflooring down. See how far we can get today. These windows look good on the trailer. They're good. Cool. I showed that this morning. I'm excited for that. Windows. We gotta get to that point though. We will. Okay. Oh, we're not gonna get there with me standing here, huh? All right, get to work. All right, now. let's go. I hate going up these ladders, guys. Yeah! Oh, I made it. I feel like a kid crawling. Right? <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of sheets. Actually, no, that's wrong. I have one left in the back of my truck. This sheet right here, it's a half inch width shorter than all these other sheets. So it's a little off, which I don't like. I need about six more sheets, I feel like, and I don't know how the lumber company didn't give me the right amount. It is what it is. I bought two more thinking that's all I would need, but obviously I was wrong. I bought these at Home Depot. This is the brand that they have. I'm gonna go to our like lumber store in town in the next couple days. Have this kind so that it's the same as they do. I'm gonna rip this one out and get rid of it because I don't like how it's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go down from here. That's all we can do today on this just because we're out. On to the next thing. Um, I called it in town, the place in town and they have the green stuff. So I, I'll probably go get some tomorrow and I'll be ripping up that one and then finishing off everything. But that's not happening today. Today, for the rest of the day, I think Larry is coming over here in a second actually. Our stairs, it's kind of windy so I'll try to make it so you guys can hear me. But on this side, there's like these posts and this is where the deck is gonna be. So I'm just standing under the deck right now where it is. But our stairs to up here, up to the apartment are gonna be right here. It's too much of a climb to do one run of stairs. I'm gonna have to put a landing in halfway up. So if I start right here and go up and then the landing will be like right around here and then go like a three foot landing and then go up again. The, the, it's gonna be right up there. And I wanna be able to just go inside the apartment and I want the door to be like in the middle because the bedrooms are gonna be over here. So I just wanna be like, like right here. So I think our plan is to put a landing like this, like a three foot by six foot landing and then go up and then go on the landing and then go back up, if that makes sense. So I'll be able to park in here, walk out underneath the deck, walk up the stairs, go to the landing, turn around and go back up and then be up in there. That is our plan. There's a concrete cut truck coming tomorrow. Larry's doing a, a pad down the road from us. I'm gonna get, uh, I think I need like a quarter of a yard, like nothing pretty much. So anything that's left, I'll, I'll be able to do. I'm just gonna do a little pad for some support beams, some four by fours to go for the, the landing and then a little pad for the stairs to start on. Pretty much, that's all I need. And then I'll be good to go. So I, I'm gonna start framing up where that's gonna go, figure out that whole thing right now. And then that way I'll be ready for tomorrow when the concrete truck comes.
Come on, hubby. Show us what you're working with. Centered on that line right there. Nailed it. Uh, okay. Okay, Fruity. Come on, Rudy. To the Fruity. Where's the. I like that song. A womp bomb, a loo womp, a womp bam boom. So this isn't 100% level. I like it when these sticks just work. This one, we used a two by 10, and we're gonna leave it right on the top of the ground and just level it, and we're gonna fill it with concrete. And this is gonna be four by four posts that are gonna go up, support the platform on the end, and also act as handrails. That's why we're doing this a two by 10, so the handrails will go up, because all I have is four by four by 10s, if that makes sense. Anyways, uh, and then over here, this is the landing where you go up or down, and this is level garage slab, four, so four inches. It's a foot deep and that's uh, 10 inches deep. Should be good, I'm just gonna fill it with rebar. It won't be on this video, but next video we're doing concrete. Then we'll be able to start building the deck and stairs and everything like that so that we can get up there a lot easier rather than going up the ladder, which I don't like. The living room. So like, from and here? Get over here, Ricky, stay yeah, in the center. So like here. this wide, Daddy, so this wide? Kind of like that wide? What do you guys think? It's their first time up here. Fun! <laughs> Bubba, what do you think? Super high. Uh, I like it. I mean, like, I feel like Is I'm it gonna, cool? I feel like I'm just gonna blast off into outer space like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a little later on in the day. Just took a shower. Feels great after working all day. So we got 90% of the uh, floor sheeting done. We just need to pick up some more in town tomorrow, probably. The forms are in for the concrete, for the concrete so we can start our stairs. And we got all of our windows. It's productive. Last couple of days, it's awesome. We're excited to just keep going on this and getting this thing built. But that's all the time we're gonna have for this video, guys. Hope you guys are liking it. And we love you guys and appreciate you guys watching everything. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And we'll see you guys in a few days. She